Okay, I hope you enjoyed the first podcast of the series. This is the second podcast. We're here tonight at the garage for the Warty Rodney lecture delivered by Hajimar Douglas. Okay, I'm here now with Hajimar Douglas. I've got an exclusive interview with him. We're at the garage. He's about to deliver the inaugural Warty Rodney lecture. How are you feeling? Surprisingly, um, relaxed. No, I never feel relaxed. Actually, I, I should lie and say, actually, I'm always relaxed and don't get nervous. No, a bit nervous, um, but looking forward to it. Okay. What are you trying to give the audience with this talk? Well, hopefully a lot more than just entertainment and, um, and stirring up a feeling of revolution. No, I mean, um, <laughs> we're, just, we're just trying to draw some parallels between 1968 and 2008 and maybe the legacy of, of some of what went on in 1968 um, uh, to today. So what, what, are the, what are the best lessons we can take from it? Um, what's the inspiration we can take from it yeah. and and maybe sort of um, get in below, find out what, what was the meaning of some of the events that took place in 1968 because people, it was, it was termed a, a year of revolution by many so we're going to sort of get behind the scenes and talk a, a bit about that. Sing about the current financial system, is that it's unsustainable, it's having the seeds of its own destruction built into it. And some of these seeds are now blossoming. The anti-capitalists don't have to do anything. It's crashing around us. We actually have to get prepared for the aftermath so that our communities are not totally ravaged by the collapse. So that we don't start acting like animals or killing one another. We will have to start putting things into place now. The question is why are we still using Mr. Goldstone's receipts? And somebody will say, well we're not, we're using the Bank of England's receipts. Look, it says, I promise to pay the bearer five pounds as well. Again, five pounds of what? That's the question. In fact, the Federal Reserve in America is not even a government bank. It's a private bank with uh, private board members, not accountable to the government of America, but they print the money. So the, the, the most sought after currency in the world, the US dollar, is printed by a private bank. So for the political activist, the community activist, the freedom fighter, the Islamic activist, the true fair trade activist, and even the nationalists, it's not that the battleground has changed, it's that for the first time, those who've actually been looking have been able to get a true glimpse of the, if you like, the real enemy. In, e in each case, it points to the perpetrators of this usurious financial system. I hope you enjoyed the Warty Rodney lecture by Hajima Douglas at the garage. You hear great feedback from the audience. They really enjoyed it. Um, we're here today at the Archive Centre for the workshop, Who Do You Think You Are? Let's check it out. I'm here now with Joanne Penn, and she's the organiser for the Black and Minority Ethnic Family History Workshop. So what are you doing today? Well, we've had uh, people come in from the area who are wanting to research their family histories abroad, and uh, we've talked to them a little bit about how they can go about this, how they can access records that are abroad and ones that are online, and now we're just giving them a little bit of practical help, getting them on the computers and showing them where they can find the records that they need. Lovely. Um, how do you think it's gone today? I hope it's gone quite well. Um, as always with family history, um, some people find answers easier than others. So um, we've had lots of success with some people and a few people have, we've had difficulty. But it's, it's a game of perseverance, really. OK, lovely. And lastly, would you do this again? Uh, well, this is the second year running, so I okay. guess, okay, I guess we'll do it again. Again. Yes, okay. I guess we'll do it again, yes, I hope. So earlier on today, we were at the Archive Centre for a workshop where people were trying to research the history of their family. It was really nice there, it was a nice relaxed mood and I think things went really well. We're now here at the Art Centre to watch a French band perform traditional black music. Shining 24-7, even the night. Beautiful girl, hot weather. And a special insect uh, called Cigal, Cicada, I, I think in English. You know the special noise of the cicada? Can you do it? You can Please. do it for, for me? Ah, yes. No, yeah. oh, cicada. <laughs> Allez! <laughs> Il fait beau, 
se tente à la cigale Il fait chaud Envie de faire que dalle Le vent Dans les oliviers argentés Le temps Ça va être un peu plus respiré Okay, so I just watched the performance at the art centre. It was really good. The public were getting involved, dancing along with the um, singers and stuff like that. People were even dancing together. Some boys and girls were holding hands and doing their thing. It's pretty good to watch. Um, that's our last event of the podcast, the second podcast in the series. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to watching the third and final one. <laughs>